Hello, I'm Cliff Smith and welcome to lesson one in my series of lessons on string bends. Um, today we're going to look at the whole tone bend or full step bend. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my third finger of my left hand, put it on the seventh fret of the G string, that's a D note. I'm now going to add my second and first fingers on the sixth and fifth frets of the G string. So I've got three fingers on the same string on the fifth, sixth and seventh frets of the G string. And what I'm going to do here is a tone bend. What that means is I'm going to take that note D on the 7th fret and I'm going to push it up, increase the tension on that string until the note sounds like an E note. And this is the equivalent of me maybe just tuning that string up. So that's a D. I'm going to bend it up to an E by pushing it, pushing it up. Okay, so when I do that, I've got using three fingers. This is why I'm putting three fingers down. So I've got three times the strength, three times the control when I try to bend that string. Okay, so my three fingers are spread out, one on each fret. They're not all grip bunched together. I've got one on each fret, so I've got a good hand position. My fingers, I'm keeping them as close to the frets as possible. When I bend up, I've got something to push against. So you're pushing against the fret. And notice my fingers, if you've seen from this angle, they're not square onto the fretboard like that. They're not totally flat. They're at about 45 degrees. So when I push the string, I'm pushing upwards and inwards to the fretboard as well. If I just push in, obviously I'm not going to go anywhere, because I can't push through that wood. If I just push up, what's going to happen is I'm going to lose the string. I haven't got enough purchase on it. So I need to push it inwards towards the fretboard a bit and upwards a bit as well. And a combination of those, the, the movement going in that 45 degree angle, that's what allows me to bend the string without losing it. A common, people, common problem people have when they do string bends is when they bend it up, I can't do it because um, well, my nails aren't long enough, but if I make this happen, basically you see my third finger is underneath the D string that's gone in the way my finger. So the way to avoid that is to make sure that you can see these lines on my fingertips there. I'm not sure if they'll be in focus but basically I'm using the bottom part of my fingertip for that string bend. Bottom part. Not the middle of the fingertip, not the top, but the bottom part of that fingertip. And what that means is the top part of the fingertip is below the string above it which means that when I push up, there's no way my finger can end up underneath that string. What I end up doing, I'm actually pushing several strings up. I'm bending the G string, but I'm also pushing the D string out the way to get it up there, and I'm also touching the A string. So I'm, I'm actually touching three strings there. Starting off touching one, and as I bend up, I end up touching the D, and eventually the A as well. With that third finger. Okay, so that's the trick to not get your fingers buried underneath the strings. Now the way you can practice this bend is to firstly play your target note. So we're doing a tone bend or a whole step bend or two fret bend. So I'm playing D on the seventh fret. My target note is E on the ninth fret. So I'm gonna take that uh, E, play it, listen to it. Remember what it sounds like. Then when I bend the D up, I'm going to make sure it sounds the same as that note I've just played, the target note. So I'm going to play the E, listen to it, then two frets below on D, you're going to bend that string up, it's not in tune yet, not quite, there it is, that's in tune, that sounds the same as that note. This is an exercise you can practice to work on your pitching of your string bends. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this free video. There is some tab for this lesson on my website. And um, please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and like my Facebook page. Uh, there's some links to all of that stuff in the description of this video.